Hey guys, here today to talk to you about my three weeks on tea. It was yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to film anything. Yeah, there's lots to sort of talk about today. However, I'm not very good at structuring things, so it could come out in a really bad order. Firstly, I'll talk about the changes that I've had on testosterone. I think the main change that I've seen is literally just thousands and thousands of spots appearing everywhere. I've mainly got them on my neck, a lot of around here. I've got loads coming down the left side of my face. I haven't got anything on my right. I've got all over my shoulders, I've got starting to get some down my back, it's horrible, it's itchy, it's painful, it's everything that's just wrong. My throat is constantly sore, I don't know if that's part of it or whatever, but it's always sore, I'm always coughing, it's horrible, I feel like there's something constantly wrong. I've noticed that my body is starting to show muscle a bit more than the fat. Um, my arms, for example, they're not so, they don't look quite so fat, they look more filled, um, they feel more filled. Uh, same goes with my shoulders. My back is slowly starting to sort of look a bit more defined. Uh, I've lo I'm losing quite a bit of weight on my, my hips and my ass, my thighs, but unfortunately it is all going to my stomach like Dr. Seal told me it would in his lovely way of saying it. I seem to have brightened up a little bit. I'm getting out more than I used to, sort of going out, seeing friends, actually sort of getting on with my life and doing something rather than just sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. Other than that, I don't think of, I can't think of any other changes. Some people say that I look different. I can't see it, but some people say it. Apart from the fact that I'm probably looking like a 12 year old boy because I'm going to start looking fully like a guy, but pre-pubescent and just I got to see two of my really close friends last night and they've both agreed that I'm probably going to have a bit more of a rugby build to me because my shoulders seem to be broadening quite a bit I think like probably the training is helping that but it might just be some really big rugby lad yeah I think I think that's it basically for testosterone plans for top surgery uh sort of here there and everywhere I know that I definitely want to go with Dr Couston in France it's just difficult because at the moment he has a two month waiting list which is brilliant it's probably one of the shortest waiting lists around and Dr Lorimer has offered me a surgical uh, a review meeting for a surgical assessment at the end of this month which again is absolutely brilliant because he can do that by telephone um, instead of me spending all that travel money to get back into London go and see him and everything and yeah Dr Cousteau is perfectly happy to do it he's told me around the beginning of August but that means I'd need to have about three and a half grand now and I don't have that which puts me in the position of debating with myself whether I take out a loan and just get it done um, then I know that I'm ready for uni I know that I'm not gonna have to worry about it throughout uni and it's not gonna get in the way or who knows, I'll probably have to hold on until the end of uni, which I don't think is possible um, with binding. I know some people can bind for absolute years, but as I already have bad ribs and a bigger chest than most guys, it's sort of playing up the pros and cons, but I've been advised to write a list, so I'll be doing that later. Might fill you in on the list at some point if I get a chance. Uh, I'm also raising money for charity. I feel like I should put this in here, because I'm keeping you guys updated on my life. I'm doing a 100 mile cycle uh, in one day and this will take place on the 20th of July and this is to raise money for three charities which is Cancer Research UK, uh, Endometriosis She Trust UK and the Cystic Fibrosis Trust and these are all for people on behalf of people that are very close to me and have meant something in my life and it's my chance to give something back. 25% of the donations are going to each of the charity and the last 25% is going towards my top surgery. So yeah, 100 miles, which is a really long way for me, but I think it'll be good. I'll put a link to the event below if any of you live nearby and are interested in coming or a link for you to donate, all of this. But I think it'll be a good day. I'm, I'm going to be training as hard as I possibly can so I know that I won't keel over in the middle of it because 100 miles is probably going to kill me. I think that's pretty much everything that I've got to talk about. As usual, if you have any questions, comments, etc, then just give me a message, leave a comment below, however you want to do it, 
and I'd love to be able to do a Q&A session at some point, either by myself or with Lucy on the Trans Life page. It would be nice to have something to answer. Um, I love getting questions. I'm one of those people that absolutely love getting questions. And I love being able to answer them and help educate people on um, transgender topics. But yeah, I shall talk to you all soon. Um, all of you take care of yourself. That's all for now.